They all want to control thought right inside your head, and Islam is among the worst of them. Which Muslim country can actually scan your mind to determine what thoughts you have? In the UAE, you have to believe Islam. You can't have free thought. Every at society all. restricts free speech. Read Stanley Fish, his book, There Is No Such Thing as Free Speech, and it's a good thing too. Why is it the whites that develop secularism and equality marriage? If you misgender someone, you can be put in prison, literally. You would criminalize blasphemy as a death sentence. So you would execute people for realizing that they can no longer buy into this bullshit. You think that Holocaust denial should be allowed in Europe? Maybe I'm more of a free speech advocate than you are. They want to wipe Islam off the face of the earth, right? What you're describing as a utopia is my dystopia, and apparently the opposite replies. Hey, this is like so. If I offer free, if, if I offer uh, freedom of religion, which atheists unilaterally support because we believe in free thought, that you should, you have the right, it's one of the most basic, fundamental rights, is the right to think and believe or not what you do for whatever reason makes sense to you. No religion likes that. They all want to control thought right inside your head, and Islam is among the worst of them. You, you have laws in certain countries, in certain Sharia countries, you, if you're Arab, for example, you are legally obliged in the UAE that you have to believe Islam. You can't have free thought. If you have free thought there, that's criminal. No, this is like a caricature. It's not a caricature, that's a fact. Okay, so all governments restrict certain forms of speech and certain forms of investigation. But we're talking about thought and belief. Even thought, even thought, you can't express certain thoughts, you can't express Religion certain ideas. Inhibits. Every country, every society no. restricts Thought. Read Stanley no, Fish. There's not. There's okay, not let me finish. I let not. you speak. I let you speak. Let me finish my point. Read Stanley Fish, philosopher, uh, eminent philosopher. His book, "There Is No Such Thing as Free Speech," and is a, and it's a good thing too. Every society has to regulate expression and thought in order to preserve that community. So even if you go on social media and Facebook, they have what? Community guidelines. If you violate those community guidelines, you will get banned, you will get punished. Why? Do you, because you are disturbing the fabric of the community. That's the logic of it. That justifies you being banned. Presumably, you don't have a problem with that kind of banning, or you don't have a problem with the fact that you can't go around and um, you know, shout the N-word at everyone that you see. Preser presumably, that kind of speech should be restricted, or are you an absolute free speech is, you know, in favor of absolute no. free speech, and even that kind of expression should be allowed in society. Do you accept that there is a law in the UAE, a Sharia country, that if you're Arab, you were legally required to believe in Islam? No, you're not. There is no such law in the UAE. You can be a Christian in the UAE. You can be a Jew in the UAE. But you can be Arab, Buddhist. They have lots of Buddhists. But as an Arab in, in the UAE. Are you talking about the apostasy law? No. You can See, was, be Christian and live in a Muslim in, country. I was in the UAE, and I'm having a conversation with a group of Arabs who all tell me that they have this law, that, in, that, you have, that you're Arab, you have to believe in Islam. That we can be, you, you know, we can be Christian or whatever if we're foreigners. There we are Arab that. Christians, though. They're, they have long generations of Arabs who are Christians. Okay, Arabs who so, are Jews. So what you're saying is that all my hosts... I don't know who you're talking right, about. Right, is all my hosts, including a cop, are all lying to me. And uh, all of, the, all of my stating, lists, I'm all of the different independent fact. lists that I gathered, they're all racist. Well, you and acknowledge that. And you're saying that every society controls thought, legislatively. What about Coptic Christians? Have you heard of Coptic and you, Christians? And you somehow conflated that to free speech. Whereas I was talking about free thought and belief. And you're saying that every society has legislation to control thought. Now, apart from the example I gave, which you denied, Give me an example of a, of a nation that controls thought. So w which Muslim country can actually scan your mind to determine what thoughts you have? I'm sorry, I forgot. I was asking no, tell the guy who thinks it. we're headed for the matrix. Ex explain it. How, which society can scan your thoughts to control what thoughts that you have? Thoughts are expressed through speech. <laughs> it's the same. There's no distinction between free thought and free speech. If yes, you, pro and you can go straight to the heart of the Muslim world and have all kinds of blasphemous, satanic thoughts. No one can do anything about it because it's in your head. But you, okay, so <laughs> There's no saying, distinction between free thought and free speech. But so again, not, we, uh, so this issue of racism... So what you're not allowed to express this at all? 
That's free speech. Yes, every society all. restricts free speech. Okay, in so some you have a form or fashion. Free, free speech, so you can't give your opinion on anything. You can't. You can't say. You can give your opinion you on plenty of things. So in the you're Muslim saying law. the end of end of I that I can legally say here's the reasons why Quran is wrong. No, you can't. The the speech. I can. No, you cannot. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I acknowledge that. So that's my, my host that's the who kind was lying of restriction. to me had to rush me out of a restaurant for saying that very sentence. Yeah, because that's it's the law. illegal yeah. to say that the Quran is wrong. Yeah, that's the law. Because Muslim society is preserving Islam. It's preserving belief in God because that is something that's valuable and important. Yeah, it's amazing how many liars live there. Just like in, in, if you come to, to no, 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 let me finish my yeah. point. You can go to many European countries and you can say, look, I think that homosexuality is wrong. That's hate speech and you will be prosecuted for that kind of language. What country? Uh, Britain, Germany, Denmark, the Netherlands, you France. Can, you can be imprisoned. France deports. You can be France deports for Muslims. That yes, you can be imprisoned. You can be kicked out of the country. Muslims are deported from France because they cite verses of the Quran in public speeches that are seen as uh, hateful. This is something that is happening in, in Europe and it's being, in Canada, the same thing. You have hate speech laws. The only reason that is not the case in the United States is because the First Amendment is more robust here. But in all of those countries, you can be imprisoned if you say, I think homosexuality is immoral. So while I'm- They into, call that inciting hate. Okay, just because of, we, we need to have a common fact here. And so you're saying that all my hosts uh, have in Dubai, in Dubai lied to me about that law and then I find myself in a, in a hotel room in Dubai, I'm playing Texas Hold'em, and there's a knock at the door. Everybody gets scared because they think that there's going to be police or something. And they say, oh, no, you're fine because you're a foreigner, but we're all gambling. That's illegal for us because we're Arabs. We can't be doing that. And then we go to a, a nightclub, and there are women there, are Arab women there, who say that you, they, can, they can sneak out and try to blend in with the foreigners, but because they're Arab, if they're caught there, then they're going to be criminalized because they have this racist legal system where if you're Arab, you have to be, you have to adhere to Islam. And you're telling me all of those people lied about that law. So within Muslim countries that abide by Islamic law, there are certain restrictions on your speech. There are certain restri restrictions on your behavior. Um, these kinds of restrictions exist in all kinds of societies. There are differences between societies based on fundamental beliefs, but there, it's not something particular or unique to Islam. That is okay. the point that I'm trying so to make. So in, 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 in a video that I watched of you recently, you said that you don't believe in equality. You no, don't I, didn't, in, I never said that. Which video did I say I don't well, believe in equality? I actually have the link for it. Wh show me, which you, was you the link, the title of the video. You said you can't have a successful marriage if you have equality, because there has to be Absolute inequality. equality. Just like you can't have a successful business if everyone is equal in the business and there's no hierarchy between the manager and the employees and the owner and the administrators. So the, the, and you've, you've specified the detail was that the man has to be in charge of the woman. Yes, this is patriarchy. It has to be patriarchy. a patriarchy, right. Yeah, as has been practiced by literally every single society so, and then you, society said, that, and and you history. said ultimately that no marriage can succeed without patriarchy, without the man being in charge of the woman. So the, my 13 year marriage apparently was a hallucination as well. No, no, no. Because uh, I'm not the her claim master, that I made, you're strongmaning my position. My position is that patriarchy provides the best success rate for marriage. Yeah, you can have a great marriage, equality marriage. That's true. That's okay. Well, that's, that's possible, that's but that doesn't that immunity. doesn't contradict the general rule. Okay. And There's a reason. Like you, you believe in evolution, right? I don't so, believe in evolution. Okay, you accept the fact, the amazing fact of evolution. Yes. So <laughs> I can show it to you and prove it to you too. Great. Excellent. So. Evolu if, evolutionary, if evolution is true, cultural evolution is true, you accept that, why is it that all of human history we have these patriarchal systems of family and society? If, if uh, the strongest survive, it Which seems like all of these theory. cultures okay. that are independently developing throughout the world across time and space, they all came up with the same solution or the same model of patriarchy. How do you explain that from an evolutionary perspective? How could something so dysfunctional and evil end up dominating the entire human because, history? Because one, it's not the strong that survives is one that can best adapt. That wasn't Darwin's statement, that was Herbert Spencer, an economist who said so later. 
Uh, two, you're talking about tribal societies where you have the warrior and the hunter versus the homekeeper and that sort of thing. We don't Every live society. In, what's that? Every society. Right, began that way. So that's how that began. That's the answer to your question. And maintain and continue that way. But they don't have to maintain and continue. We're not hunter-gatherers anymore. We don't have to be the warrior providers like we used to be. No, I want an so, explanation for why that practice persisted right, for millennia, thousands of years. Right. Why did it persist? Because if it we wasn't... all began in that tribe. No, people can change. Gap. Like you can have society A that decides to have a kind of equality feminist <laughs> okay. well, marriage you, and then society the answer, B that is patriarchal. Okay. And then if we strongest survive or the best adapted survive, then which will survive? The equality? marriage-based society or the patriarchal society. In every country, in every society, in every civilization historically, began, the patriarchal ones came out on which top. Which all began from that Stone Age culture of the system. Cultures can destroyed. change, right? Yes, they can. That's why they did. And that's why they we're didn't not, until the past 200 years. Lots of things changed in the past 200 years. We've made even, significant even if progress. Culture, there's, it's still patriarchal. Practically everything we've invented has been in the last 200 years because it accelerates. You're not engaging with the point. My, if you, you have, have society one. A... If I, if I may just, just be blunt on that's here, pretty your, rude your to dystopian say. fantasy of That's pretty of rude to say for someone who's, who believes that all the best countries happen to be white and we can't know if that's racist or not. So my point was very simple. You have society A that is uh, feminist and society B that is patriarchal. Don't you think that if feminism and equality marriage was such a rational idea that there would be people in history who would have stumbled upon it prior to the past 200 years? In Human history in is... In advanced cultures historically, yes, they did. Oh, so advanced, yeah. so primitive cultures wouldn't yeah. have the I, I said it IQ started, to I develop that? I said it started that? as hunter okay, yeah, it's, societies. Yeah, it started fine. And then we have, you know, like, like Greeks and Roma, that we, we have other societies to develop that Well, why did it start, actually? Change. That's a good point. Why did it start? How many times do you need me to answer the same question? Why did patriarchy start? Why was that evolutionary adaptive that for the hunter the and gatherers? That is the question I just answered like four or five oh, times. I'm sorry, I missed it. What was the answer? Because they all began as Stone Age societies of hunter-gatherers. What hunter -gatherers. began, prior to the Stone Age, there were people, right? That evolved. Uh-huh. So why did they evolve patriarchy in those Stone Age societies? For the reason I have, I'm now going to explain for the fifth time because they started out as hunter-gatherer societies where you had the men playing the role of the hunters and the warriors because of a slight advantage in physical strength, whereas the women were, for a number of reasons, in, uh, connected to the, the children, the upbringing, the home. That's, the roles were discerned that so, way, and so they don't have to stay that way. So in advanced societies, they don't stay that way. We adapt and improve. Please don't ask me that same, to answer that same question a sixth time. So these advanced societies happen to be, like which countries developed equality marriage? It happened to be, guess what, white countries. It happened to be the except Northwestern that, European countries that, that developed it wasn't Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Historically. No, it isn't. Uh, Sai Shanagal, Japanese, uh, Japanese author, female. There was a time when even Japan <laughs> That's allowed, the... allowed for the, this kind of uh, advance. And when the United States was founded, the reason that we were so popular was not because we were white. The reason that we were so popular was because we were the first secular nation in the world. We were the first meritocracy where it didn't matter about the caste system in India. It didn't matter about the Huguenots versus the Catholics or any of that religious nonsense going on back home. You could come over here and then th those religious laws no longer apply. It no longer mattered whether you had a religion or what religion it was. Religion didn't rule. We had secular law, and that was hugely attractive. That made the melting pot of the United States. That attracted people from every country. So why did, why did whites come across so this brilliant is it, idea? Is it because we were racist? No, or? no, is it, I want your explanation from you. Like, why is it the whites that developed this kind of amazing secularism and equality marriage? You said earlier that it's advanced societies, advanced civilizations mm -hmm. that uh, figure out that, Which okay, marriage should be Japan. all about equality. Yeah. No, Japan has not had any kind of equality marriage. It's a highly patriarchal society. In, t in the current day Japanese parliament, there's only two women. And I know. They're not allowed to talk. I know. So, so tell me about uh, 
patriarchy being abolished, supposedly, by whites in Europe and in America, had what, what makes whites better able to discover just, these amazing truths of equality? I didn't say that. I secular. said that around 1200 or so, Japan was more egalitarian than it is now. And they have since reverted. I'm sorry if that doesn't fit the, the ill painting that you're trying to paint here. Just like your opening statement with your dystopian nightmare about things that were never going to happen, about what atheists do that no atheist does and never did. We offer free thought. We offer freedom of religion. And while we do not offer absolute freedom of speech, we allow freedom of speech. And the thing we are most against. It's a lie. Excuse me? What, what free thought? I said already, if you say in certain Western, the most secular atheistic European societies, if you say homosexuality is immoral, if you say, if you misgender someone, you can be put in prison. Literally, you can be fined. You can, have, are you opposed to those kinds of restrictions you're on speech? You're going to have to show me that. I'll are be you opposed to that if that's the case? Where if you misgender someone or if you say that I disagree with homosexuality or homosexuality is wrong, that that's going to put you in prison? You disagree yeah, I, with that? I would, I would need to see proof of that because I don't believe you. No, that, there are hate speech laws in the UK. For example, last year, there was a Muslim woman who said, who went on the street and was saying homosexuality is a sin, this is Sodom and Gomorrah, it's, society's gonna be destroyed by God. She was arrested for hate speech. She was fined for hate speech. This is something very common. Okay. Even posting on social media in, in the EU, you can be prosecuted for statements that you make on Twitter or Facebook that violate hate speech laws. If you're okay. ignorant about like these laws and you're focused on America, fine. But even Canada in the north, they have similar laws. If you misgen this was the whole controversy with Jordan Peterson. He was so he was going contrary to the law by saying that I am not going to use some be forced to use someone's preferred pronouns. That's the whole controversy with Jordan Peterson. Why? Because Canadian law has been changed to prosecute or to make that illegal to misgender people. So the debate we're supposed to be doing on you know, which would be better for society, I, as an atheist, am advocating for th free thought. And you're telling me that I'm not. You're telling me that I'm lying. No, I'm I, saying I that you have like fact, a fantasy you, understanding you that's not based in reality. You, you said that liberalism was always authoritarian. It is not. Uh, I'm in the anti-authoritarian left quadrant of the political compass, which you really should look up at some point. So we are not always authoritarian. Most of us, in fact, are not. If you take a poll of the entirety of the country, if, they were, if everybody did the study, they would realize that most of the population actually leans libertarian left where I am. So that was a false statement. We do not support authoritarianism. We, we are not advocating for authority. Atheist society would not mean an authoritarian society, whereas an Islamic society would. So you are trying to paint something on me that is not going to fit. I am countering you. Now, you want to talk about something that's going to make society good. I say free thought is going to make that good. You say I don't allow free thought. I'm demonstrating that I do. So you're, you're, you think that Holocaust denial should be allowed in Europe? I don't know what to say about Europe because <laughs> I, can't, I can't prove to you on the fly what laws it, actually exist. Should it be what, legal or not? It's a simple question. I live in a country where stupidity <laughs> reigns. Okay, so you're proving we're, that you're not a free speech absolutist. You do think certain I ideas did should be restricted. You. I did certain already tell you. Certain ideas should be restricted. I did already tell you. You just draw you. the line. Hello? You're interrupting me. You just talk I, for five minutes. I let you speak. Don't interrupt, I man. I, you you're did extremely rude. You've yeah, done nothing rude. but monologue. Yeah, I gave you your chance to talk for five minutes to give your speech. So this is my response to that. And then I that. didn't. I asked you a question and you said that you, didn't, you couldn't answer whether Holocaust denial should be legal or illegal. That, is not that what I indicates said. should be legal or illegal. I said I can't speak for the laws in Europe because I don't know what the laws are in Europe. In the abstract. And in the then, abstract. And then I didn't get to answer because you then asked me another question as another distraction. Because you can't answer a simple again. question. In the abstract, forget about Europe, forget about the laws of any particular country. Should Holocaust denial be legal or not? As I was trying to answer when you interrupted the answer to ask yet another question, yes, I think that in the country that I live in, stupidity reigns, right? People get to say all kinds of stupid things. Now, I'm not a free speech absolutist because you do have to be responsible for the things that you say. 
But whether people say stupid things, sure. We just watched Herschel Walker talk about a vampire movie as part of his campaign speech. I saw Marjorie Taylor Greene say they don't teach us in history about how in the ice ages they had to pay taxes to heat up the planet and melt the ice. People say that these are the people running for office and they're that damn dumb. Yeah, you can't make a law against stupid. You can't make a law against hate. You can make a law when it's gonna lead to violence because you do have to have some That's what people argue. They say that Holocaust denial leads to violence. They say saying that homosexuality is immoral leads to, to violence. I would have to see the evidence and hear the argument and make an de informed decision. So but if it, if it is proven that it does in, uh, increase violence, then you would, you would be fine with banning I'm not gonna make a judgment it. without the information. But in principle, you would be uh, okay with banning certain types of speech because they could potentially lead to violence. Not, if the statistical data yeah, prove that it out. It has to be a realistic <laughs> expectation. Not, I want to get back to the debate, not the, the opening statement yeah, well, you made about the Blaspheming against in God in the UAE or in a Muslim society can increase violence towards Muslims. It has potential, right? So if the science shows once again, that has blaspheming be, against Islam. Once, once again, it has no, 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 a realistic let me finish, probability. Let me finish my uh, hypothesis here, or my uh, suggestion. If you have a uh, Muslim country and there's someone like you in that Muslim country blaspheming against God, saying that Islam is just a delusion, um, that could potentially inspire people to rebel against the government or it could uh, inspire people to commit acts of hatred against Muslims. If the statistics showed that that uh, increased, that kind of blasphemy increased the uh, rate of violence, would you be in favor of blasphemy laws to restrict blasphemy? I am not in favor of blasphemy laws, and I know that you are, because I saw, the, I saw the, the interview wherein you said that you would criminalize blasphemy as a death sentence. So you would execute people for realizing that they can no longer buy into this bullshit. Yeah, just like the liberal colonial governments executed Muslims for what, disagreeing I don't, I don't with... I wonder what liberal, liberal means government. to you, because you think... Liberal you, means the, the pursuit of maximum freedom and maximum equality. Thomas Jefferson was a liberal. Donald Trump is a liberal in that philosophical sense. I'm not talking about leftism versus right wing. Well, I'm talking about like liberalism the, as a concept, a philosophical like three concept. three or four different definitions. No, no. No, they're, maximizing they're really are. freedom and equality. There really are three or four different definitions. One is that, that uh, liberalism is leftism, that was what I thought you were using before, uh, and that, that liberalism is left-leaning where the political compass puts it in the center, and there's another one that says that it, that it that favors uh, socialism as a means to, cap to communism because they're going off Marxist theory. But I, get, I get that there are a number of different definitions, and some of them conflate leftist and liberal. But I'm not accepting that, that American expansionism was liberalism. That's Thomas not Jefferson liberalism is not a liberal. Is George Washington a liberal? Is the Constitution of the American uh, of the United if States liberal? A liberal something document. Something the entirety of the United States does. <laughs> I wouldn't say that that's the fault. Is the of pursuit particular. of life, liberty, and happiness a liberal doctrine? I'm talking about liberalism in the philosophical sense, not in the terms of left-wing or right-wing politics. If you, look at the quadrant, if you look at the quadrant that you keep referring to and saying that I don't know about, that entire quadrant is liberal. Why? Because every quadrant ha believes in maximizing liberty and freedom. They just disagree on how best to achieve that. Donald Trump is a liberal in the sense that I'm using it because he thinks that, yeah, we need to okay, maximize we're people's past freedom each other because and equality. We're using the different definitions that I mentioned before. Well, the, the whole point of this debate is whether atheism is better for society as okay, opposed so to Okay, so we're offering free thought. You're not. You're no, offering no. a death sentence for unbelievers. No, I, I think people should be allowed to uh, explore all kinds of ideas of like, is and homosexuality really right or wrong? Is COVID, you know, really this kind of dangerous disease or is it more like the flu? Is, you know, different historical events, should we be able to question those historical events or um, should we be able to question the government on certain so-called conspiracy theories or will be Will we be branded as extremists by the Biden administration or the Trump administration? There is a Those are the things that you cannot question or you cannot There is a definition broach. for extremists. You don't let me finish my question okay. or my point. So those areas of speech are heavily restricted even in the United States. Liberal governments have a long history of restricting speech 
I think that all of those things should be investigated, all, should be talked about. So I, maybe I'm more of a free speech advocate than you are. I just say, don't blaspheme against God. Don't say things that will destroy these important human institutions like marriage, family, community, uh, God and belief. Do... All of those things are important to preserve. Therefore, it's, it makes logical sense, practical sense to restrict speech that will destroy a community. We're not trying to destroy your religious traditions. We're trying to correct you. You are. That's what atheism wants to do. People like you and uh, these ex-Muslims, they want to wipe Islam off the face of the earth, right? They say Muslims need to become atheists. No. No? I said you have the, one of the most fundamental of all human rights is to think and believe what you will for whatever reason makes sense to you, and you don't even have to explain why that is.